This 32 appearing in 1989 was the first complete transformation for the Fairladies. It came in a wide, flat body, turning 180 degrees from the narrow, long body designs that lasted three generations. It was a size for a global sports car, not restricted by the size classes of the Japanese market. Its steering characteristics were changed drastically as soon as the steering is turned. The nose slices into the corner, and the white tread gave it a high level of potential. This opened new doors as a cornering machine, while maintaining its performance as a get. Again, these dropped European thoroughbreds into a hole of despair. At the heart of this car was a compact V6 with a low center of gravity, even though it is M4. It was a given a front midship layout with the engine located as far back as possible to make the front trip weight distribution close to 50-50, aiming for the global market. The engine size was fixed at 3 and producing 227 in the net and 276 head in the twin turbo. Its performance decorated the end of the 20th century. Its suspension used advanced designs as well, and even features like an abyss that does not transfer shock to the brake pedal were things that went beyond the usual standards of the time. In 1992, a convertible model was added to the lineup and was greatly welcomed in its main market of California. But this 32 had an unfortunate fate. The economy slumped in Japan, and Nissan faced a major reconstruction plan. Because of this, this came to a pause for the first time in its 31-year history. It then entered into a blank period of three years, until the ingenious Carlos Ghost became the president of the company and announced the return of the Ed.